on behalf of AlgoWorks, I am creating a video. The goal of the video is to demonstrate about immediate workflow actions and time-based workflows. In order to create a workflow from the setup menu, we will have to go into workflow rules. Click on continue. And here we get an option to add a new rule. Once we click on this, it will ask us to select the object and today's object for the demonstration would be opportunity. Here it is. Then next, the rule name would be big opportunity alert. And then this is based on three criteria. The first is the evaluation criteria, rule criteria and the action that we are going to take when this rule is triggered. So, so this would basically evaluate the rule when a record is created and any time it's edited to subsequently meet that particular criteria. Go ahead and select this and the rule criteria when, when do you want the rule to be run is select the field name as amount and is greater than $300,000 so when you go ahead and save next so this brings down to creating I mean adding a workflow action and make sure that you don't hit done before doing this so this here we would add a workflow action there are four types of workflow actions one is a task next one is email alert field update and outbound message so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a workflow action as a task and an email alert we'll go ahead with the task and again this is the immediate workflow that i'm demonstrating right now and post this i'll also be demonstrating the time-based workflow so now we need to select whom this should be assigned to as an admin, you would be selecting another user. So I've selected Algo Admin. Then selecting this big opportunity alert as a subject. And the due date would be the rule trigger date plus two days or maybe one day rule uh, status has not started yet and priority let's put it as high and then try to save it now successfully we have saved a workflow action let me go ahead and add a new workflow action that's the email alert so here different kinds of templates can be selected if you have a customized template that could be selected otherwise salesforce has a set of default templates and for demonstration i'm just selecting new customer email template and here it would ask who are all the users that the email should go to so i'll select the admin myself and then save in the same way now the way we have created this we will just create time based triggers so since we have selected one day for that immediate trigger we we'll select two days after the rule trigger date for the time based trigger save See again, this could be selected according to your business need or business requirement. So this is just for demonstration purposes that I have just selected two days. And now again here we will add task and email alerts. So again they should be assigned.
go ahead and save it now we went to the field update select the email same email template again select the recipients and go ahead and save it post this click on done and here the rule criteria clearly defines that the opportunity amount greater than 300,000 so currently we have successfully created the workflow but it's not active yet in order to act activate this we have to go ahead and click on this activate button and before clicking on the activate button you know you'll have a chance to edit all of this especially the time dependent workflow actions and once you hit on the activate button you'll no longer be able to edit or add any time dependent workflow actions for that you'll have to deactivate the rule go ahead make the necessary changes and activate the rule again okay so here you can find that the workflow successfully active we will go to the front end go to the opportunities and try to create a new opportunity make sure to fill out the, all the mandatory fields and for this opportunity to trigger for this workflow to trigger we will have to make sure that the amount is more than 300k so we will just put it as Yeah, 21k so random close date and let's just select a random stage value position make sure all the fields mandatory fields are filled in We'll go ahead click save so now since this is saved immediately it reflects here that there's an upcoming task so that's the workflow due is tomorrow and what we can actually do is since we have assigned it to another user we'll try and verify if that user is able to view the workflow on his dashboard one second just go ahead and log in once we log in just go into the tasks let's try open tasks here so now we can see that the workflow has been successfully triggered the immediate workflow has been successfully triggered although you know the time based workflow cannot be demonstrated as in since we have put in as two days of time we'll have to come back and check for that time based trigger it's 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 pretty similar and that's why i have particularly put the immediate workflow to give you guys an under clear understanding of how it looks like so that's about it.